Hello friends, I am Rishmeet and you are watching Patient Education Series on Cancer. Friends, movement is the sign of life. But when this movement comes in the form of cancer, life stops. Especially in the case of ovarian cancer. It is shocking to know that India has one of the highest rates of ovarian cancer in the world. One in every 10 cancer deaths worldwide is in urban India. What's more alarming is that 75-80% to 80 of patients are in the advanced stages of the disease at the time of diagnosis just because they were not aware of it. Today, we will know all about ovarian cancer from our world-renowned expert Dr. V.P. Gangadharan. Dr. V.P. Gangadharan is a world-renowned oncologist, a fellowship holder from NCI and WHO. He has pioneered the idea of blood stem transplantation in Kerala and is the founder of the first medical oncology department in Trivandrum. He is the father of Cochin Cancer Society, a charitable institution that helps patients physically, mentally and financially. It is his pledge that no patient should go back without treatment due to lack of money. Dedicated to serve the humanity, he has launched the campaign to eradicate cancer completely and has been educating the people about prevention, early detection and treatment of cancer. An author of over 35 publications, he has received several awards till date and has been felicitated with Indira Gandhi Puraskar and JCI India Award for outstanding contribution in the field of medicine. It's a matter of pleasure to have Dr. V.P. Gangadharan with us. Let's welcome him. Doctor, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Doctor, cases of ovarian cancer are increasing every year. The worst part is that very few women are aware about ovarian cancer and its prevention. So please tell us, what are the early signs and symptoms of ovarian cancer? The problem with ovarian cancer is that their symptoms are very vague. Unlike many other cancers, the symptoms are very vague. Like uh, patient may sometimes come and tell you that uh, I am not, uh, my, my tummy is not feeling good. That means I get a feeling of fullness of the abdomen and I get a feeling of uh, gaseous distension of the abdomen. My bowel habits are uh, not regular. And some of them may come and tell that there are some menstrual irregularities. But I think majority come and say weakness, uh, abdomen symptoms, which uh, usually goes unnoticed because many of them think that uh, they are all uh, symptoms of some gaseous distension and try to treat. And that is why in epithelial ovarian tumors, majority of the tumors come in an advanced stage. To say that almost 80 to 90 percent of the ovarian tumors are stage 3. That means an advanced stage disease. So doctor, what are the chances of an early detection? You don't have any fixed plans unlike breast for early detection in ovarian cancer because it's a cancer which is put as non-screenable, non-screenable cancer. But if the symptoms which has already been addressed uh, is there, I think uh, think of the possibility of an ovarian cancer and try to investigate. That's the only thing which you can say. So doctor, are there any tumor markers or a screening program to detect this kind of cancer? CI-125 is a tumor marker for epithelial ovarian cancer. But it will be very clear that just because that CI-125 is normal doesn't mean that you, have got a, you doesn't have a disease. Nor, if the CI-125 is going to be high, don't think that you have got definitely a disease of the ovary. So it's a, it just put as a uh, tumor marker uh, which has got uh, not that high value for screening nor for diagnosis, but it's uh, usually a tumor marker which is good for you to assess the, uh, I mean, uh, your response to treatment, as well as in the follow-up, if the CA125 is uh, rising, uh, that indicates that probably the disease is coming back. So that way, it's a tumor marker which can be used with uh, some specifications. What can women do to prevent ovarian cancer? You don't have a chance for prevention in ovarian cancer because there are no set methods of uh, prevention in ovarian cancer. That's again one of the uh, bad things about ovarian cancers. So, what are the chances of cure in ovarian cancer? Question is always addressed is, what are your chances of cure in ovarian tumors? Then immediately I think you have to think of uh, the two ends of the spectrum. That means on one end, you have got the germ cell tumors, which happens in the pediatric as well as the young adults. 
there the chance of cure is very high they are highly radio sensitive and highly chemosensitive i think i'll put it in the other ways much more chemosensitive and radio, some of them are radio sensitive that means even when uh, the patient has got a very advanced stage like the patient coming with uh, lung metastasis liver metastasis still the chance of cure goes very high so it's a disease with a high cure rate in the same token you have to remember that when the gentle tumors are uh, coming for treatment there's a chance for keeping up the fertility that means uh, you can uh, uh, get away by removing the affected ovary alone the opposite ovary and the uterus has to be kept if possible where that should be the aim of treatment because uh, that helps to keep the fertility of the female which is very very important like uh, keeping up her life when it comes to epithelial ovarian tumors the problem is uh, it's not that curable highly curable the cure rate is not that high but the recent advances in treatment has uh, really helped a lot because now the epithelial ovarian tumors are labeled as chronic cancers that means a patient can uh, try to live with the disease by going to the treatment i think i uh, think of uh, the other diseases like uh, diabetes or a hypertension where you are not curing a hypertensive patient you are not curing a, a diabetic patient but they are living with the disease like that an epithelial ovarian tumor patient can live long by different lines of treatment to label them as a chronic cancer so doctor can ovarian cancer reoccur after its treatment the recurrences in uh, germ cell tumors even if uh, if it occurs still they are curable that's the advantage of germ cell tumors that means they can recur but even if they come back with a recurrence you can for different lines of chemotherapy as well as high dose chemotherapy and you can cure the patient even if in an advanced stage or even if it's a recurrent disease but in epithelial ovarian tumors the chance of recurrence is always there when the tumor stage is high that means if the tumor if the patient is coming with a stage 2 stage 3 disease which is the case in most of the the, the cancer the ovarian cancers the chance of relapse also goes high and still you can treat that means uh, you can treat them try to maintain good quality of life and prolong the life only thing you have to remember is with each uh, subsequent relapses the chance of disease again coming back becomes much shorter that means the time interval you get uh, without disease is shorter that means it goes on but you can continue with the treatment and the patient can live longer to putting uh, it again and saying that the patient lives or learns to live with the disease by going to the treatment what are the treatment options for ovarian cancer the treatment of ovarian cancer is uh, usually coronary uh, or or is uh, with uh, surgery and with chemotherapy when you come to germ cell tumors that first treatment option if it's an early stage is going to be a surgery but again to pinpoint and say that try to remove the affected ovary alone and keep the opposite ovary and uterus intact for a normal life and the patient usually goes uh, for a chemotherapy followed by i mean uh, following the surgery so that is a your, your usual sequence of events but if the patient comes in an advanced stage of disease you may even start off with the chemotherapy initially and then uh, do the surgery in the end so it's possible for epithelial ovarian tumors again uh, if it's an early stage the treatment option is to go for a surgery first the surgery is very important that means uh, usually what we say is it is the surgeon who does the surgery or is the caliber of the surgeon who does the surgery in an epithelial ovarian tumors who determine uh, the life or who is going to determine the fate of that patient because if that surgery is properly done undertaken and uh, then uh, everything uh, is good that means a properly done initial surgery is mandatory for epithelial ovarian tumor so i will always uh, try to emphasize the point that it should be done by a oncology surgeon who is a uh, well tuned uh, in doing the surgery in epithelial ovarian tumors rather than uh, going to a routine gynecologist and getting the surgery done or go- going to a routine surgeon and getting the surgery done because that step is very important in the overall outcome of the patient usually the surgery is followed by uh, chemotherapy which uh, contains uh, multiple drugs which are effective in the treatment of ovarian tumors so a surgery followed by chemotherapy if it's in the early stage but if it's going to be an advanced stage or if there's any chance that uh, you may not be able to go for a good surgery you start off with the chemotherapy try to reduce the tumor burden or tumor uh, size and then do the surgery in the second step so this is labeled as an intraoperative cytoreduction that means you are starting with an anterior chemotherapy 
the time called as a neoadjuvant chemotherapy and then go for the interval cytotoxic reduction where you do the complete the surgery and then go for a completion of the chemotherapy following that so that means a sequencing of surgery and chemotherapy can be variable depending on the stage of disease in an epithelial ovarian cancer so doctor let me ask you are there any side effects of chemotherapy you have got uh, side effects uh, with chemotherapy as well as radiation uh, therapy the usual side effects of chemotherapy are i think uh, many of the drugs uh, can produce an acute vomiting that means vomiting is one of the side effects which can be easily managed uh, to see the reason being the patient should be well informed prior as to what are your chances of uh, going for a side effect and try to prevent that and uh, the uh, vomiting is actually multi faceted i put as multi faceted uh, one part is a pure psychological the second is an organic vomiting psychological part i think has to be tackled uh, by proper counseling with the patient uh, and uh, explaining him as to the possibilities of vomiting and how to prevent that and uh, the organic is of course treated with the drugs a good way of uh, tackling this is a diversion that means uh, a diversion of his mind uh, definitely helps to uh, prevent a psychological vomiting psychological vomiting can be to that extent to say that patient can even start uh, vomiting by thinking of the name of the doctor that means uh, some patient come and tell that i vomit uh, the moment i remember uh, about dr gangadharan so that's how many of them may come to you which uh, has to be addressed in the proper way another uh, side effect uh, which uh, most of some uh, of the patients are afraid of is hair loss but we have got a lot of uh, newer drugs uh, which can be given without producing a hair loss which is possible in the treatment the rest of course uh, is uh, like the chance of an infection the chance of uh, you mean the blood counts are dropping everything they can all be tackled very easily with the newer modalities of treatment so i think i'll put it across to say that yes you do have uh, side effects but which can be prevented and which can be treated properly so that the life becomes much more comfortable thank you doctor for being on our show thank you for having me so friends adopting a hygienic and healthy lifestyle is the precaution we can take to avoid ovarian cancer i hope this episode proved useful to our viewers but friends if you need any help regarding this issue you can always contact us without any hesitation Our address is Department of Medical Oncology Lakeshore Hospital NH47 Bypass Marudu Netur Post Office Kochi Kerala 682040 You can also call us on 9847064668 You can also email us on drvpgangadharan@gmail.com Today we discussed about ovarian cancer. In the next episodes there will be a lot more information about other type of cancers. So keep watching patient education series on cancer. Eat healthy, be aware and live a healthy life. Kyunki hame aapki fikr hai.